congratulations to speed skater Trevor Tan, 16 years old, winning last month's Athlete of the Month. We're going to start off, of course, with that exciting segment as usual, Duncan. The first nominee for this month's Team Singapore Athlete of the Month is none other than Yip Pin Siu. Pin Siu, of course, winning a double gold in London when she won the gold in women's 100m backstroke S2 category at the World Para Swimming Championships. She clocked a season best time of 2 minutes 18.61 seconds. She followed up this achievement with a second gold in women's 50m backstroke S2 event with 1 minute 4.43 seconds, which was just shy of her season best. Another athlete nominated for Athlete of the Month is Jonathan Chan. He is the first Singaporean to qualify for the Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Well done to him. He won the gold medal at the Asian Diving Cup in the men's 10-meter platform final as he overcame China's Wang Xiaowei and North Korea's Ri Kwon Hyok to score a total of 407.9 points. Our third nominee for Athlete of the Month comes from the sport of floorball is none other than Siti Nohaliza who was offered a season-long contract to play for SC Tempish Vitkovic. Champions of Eastern European countries uh, top tier women's league, the Extra Liga. And this happened because she impressed the club's player development manager in a friendly game for Finnish club Era Vikinget. Also nominated for Athlete of the Month is Sir Lin Chen from Table Tennis. Now, this 13-year-old prodigy defeated Taiwan's Chen Yuqi, three love in the quarterfinals of the 2019 ITTF Junior Circuit Premium, Chinese Taipei Junior and Cadet Open. She then beat Taiwan's Cheng Pushuan, three love in the semifinals, but only lost out to world number five Kaho Ake from Japan in the under-15 final. Our fifth nominee is none other than Tei Wei Ming from the sport of badminton. Wei Ming claimed a joint bronze with Japan's Taiyo Imai in the men's singles SU5 event at the Thailand Para Badminton International 2019. He reached the semi-finals after defeating France's world number six, Meru Loke, and only lost to Taiwan's Fang Jun Yu in the semis. Our final nominee for Athlete of the Month is Peter Kaur from Bowling. The 15-year-old clinched his first ever title in the Masters title in the Youth Division in the Sarawak International Open Bowling Championships. He was the second best qualifier and overcame the top qualifier, Malaysia's Abang Afik Yazid Abang Azman. He won both games in the final 222-299, 223-298 to seal his first ever title. Some great news, of course, from ice hockey as our Singapore youth ice hockey team claiming silver for the boys under 15 category at the Southeast Asian Youth Cup 2019. They won their games against Malaysia, Indonesia and the Philippines and only lost out in their final game against Thailand. And what a month it's been for our Penchak Silat team who had three different achievements in three competitions. They won four goals and four silvers at the 2019 Chungju World Martial Arts Championships and then six golds, seven silvers and five bronzes at the second open Chekak Harimau Penchak Silat Championships 2019. They then came in first runner-up with four gold, six silvers and two bronzes in the second open Malaysia International Penchak Silat Championships. So well done all round to the Penchak Silat Community. We talked about Yip Pin Siu earlier on, of course, in swimming, but it was not just Pin Siu who did well in the World Para Swimming Championships. Her teammates, To Wei Song and Teresa Goh, both passed with flying colours in the competition with Wei Song clocking 32.23 seconds to finish 7th place in the 50 meter butterfly S7 category. And Teresa Goh, who is also Singapore's flag bearer, finishing also 7th in the final for the 100m breaststroke SB4 final. Well done to our swimmers. Congratulations to John Chia for setting three national records at the International Weightlifting Championships in Pattaya and he did so competing with a broken finger. Ouch! For Cherry Tan, she wins gold at the Queer Bika AMF Professional Women's Bowling Association Players' Championship. Now she is the first Asian to win the PBWA Players Championship, her second goal in two months. So go rock, Cherry Tan. And we're going to wrap up this month's Spotlight on Team Singapore with table tennis, of course. Our women's table tennis team 
What a month it has been for them. They broke a six-year medal drought when they claimed bronze at the Asian Table Tennis Championships in Yogyakarta, Indonesia. The team comprising Feng Tianwei, Yu Mengyu, Lin Ye and Goi Ri Xian topping their group and then beating Korea 3-1 in the quarterfinals only to lose out to China in the semifinals. We'll be looking forward to them in action in the upcoming SEA Games. And speaking of the SEA Games, you do want to keep your eyes peeled to our special edition features of Road to the SEA Games featuring our Team Singapore athletes, which will be available on SGS Sports TV as well as One Place Sports and Team Singapore Facebook page. So stay tuned.